I think I gravitate to tech because it's part of my personality. I'm a really efficient guy, I like efficiency. Maybe it's just a German thing. Every time I repeat an action or just do the same tasks over and over, I want to automate it, I want to make it more efficient and optimize it. And tech just seems to be the perfect solution for that. Aircrafts and the aerospace industry really became close to me early on. I really liked flying and I liked the things that made me fly, so I applied at Airbus. Military aircrafts have to work under enormous stress and in the harshest of conditions. Because, you know, they don't land at a civil airport. They have to land on dirt, on ice, grass, sand, and they just have to work. They are stationed around the world in less developed countries. So maintenance and getting parts there and having the infrastructure to fix things is really tough. It's key to detect problems early on so that we can fix them in the comfort of their home base. Most approaches out there, they send data back to the cloud where compute happens, and that's absolutely not acceptable for our customers. The biggest challenge was definitely the requirement for a disconnected solution, locally, within a certain country, within a certain security context. I'm responsible for our AI platform, so part of my job is to drive and push these new technologies. I was in touch with Microsoft on our cloud topic and they brought up the idea of these cognitive services. I hear the phrase develop on your own terms quite a bit and for us it was really the, the opportunity to develop on our infrastructure. The most rewarding thing for me working in the aerospace industry is seeing the change that is happening. Back when I was studying abroad I was actually part of the assembly line and seeing these gigantic engines and VTPs and wings for the very first time was really, really great. Being part of that and being part in changing the digital solutions for a whole industry is really, really exciting. So that really stands out for me.